What is the minimum overhead clearance for service conductors that pass over residential driveways, property, and commercial areas without truck traffic, not over 300 volts? And the correct answer is 12 feet. Whether you live in a single family dwelling, a two story, or a tiny house, your home is likely going to have electricity to it. In many areas, you're gonna come underground with your electricity to the house, which is called a service lateral. But in many homes, it's going to be ran overhead. And the NEC lays out parameters for these conductors, but ultimately the power company is in exclusive control of their distribution depending on where they say the service point is, that point where the service is now yours. But in my opinion, as an installer and an AHJ, you need to be paying attention to these overhead service clearance drops just to make sure it's not a danger to the general public or to anyone. Let's go ahead and take a look at the paraphrase code language. We're in 230.24b. And if you read these different descriptions here, it's gonna lay out different scenarios and based on your scenario is gonna be your height. In our case, we're gonna fall right here at point two. It says above residential properties and driveways, as well as in commercial areas not subject to truck traffic, where the voltages do not exceed 300 volts to ground. So that would be a per leg situation. If they do not exceed 300 volts to ground, then the requirement will be 12 feet. I am the electrical code coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you, and you will in turn add value to others. Let's get to it.